In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. I have separated each part of the logo. So it will be easier to create the animation. Select all the layers, and export them into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export. If you do not have this plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. These are my composition settings. You can adjust it into the same settings if you have a different one. Lock the background layer, so it will be easier to manage layers. Also I will change the color of the layers as well. Select all the layers of the icon and pre-compose it. Again, pre-compose all the text layers as well. Let's animate the icon first. So double click, and open that composition. I will hide the top layer. Select these two layers. Click the solo icon, and hide other layers. Pick the pen tool. I have set the stroke size to 65. Let's create a stroke line covering the bottom layer. OK. Now move the timeline one second forward. Open this layer, and add a trim path. Create two keyframes for the end value. Zero and 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Type stroke, in the search. Change the line cap into round. Press U, and open the keyframes. Then open opacity settings, and add two keyframes. Zero and 100. Make sure to have the timeline in the first keyframe. Move keyframes, and correct the timing. The flow of the animation, is good. Place the stroke line, on top of the solo layer. Press Ctrl plus D, and create a duplicate. Again, place it on the top of the other solo layer. Select these two layers. Change the track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation. Now I will disable the solo option. Let's animate it in the same way the upper section as well. Again, only select these two layers. Let's create a stroke line covering the bottom shape. So I will speed up the process to save time. Again search for the stroke, and change the line cap to round. Copy previous keyframes, and paste them on the new stroke layer. Make sure the timeline is in the first keyframe position. Place this layer, on top of the solo layer. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Again, place it on top of the other solo layer as well. Select both solo layers, and change the track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation. The animation seems good. Select all the keyframes, and move them to the beginning of the timeline. Enable this white S letter. Move the timeline to a position like this. Press Alt plus left bracket keys, and cut the layer. Again, move the timeline 4 frames forward. Now press Alt plus right bracket keys, and cut it. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Move this layer 3 frames forward. Drag the right side of this layer to end position. Let's check the animation. The animation seems good. Go back to the previous composition. Press Y, and take the anchor point of this layer into the middle of the icon. Press R, and open rotation settings. Create two keyframes. Minus 90 degrees, and zero. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. 
OK. Now move both keyframes into the beginning. Move keyframe distance, and correct the timing of the animation. OK, now open position settings. Let's create upward movement. So create two keyframes. One in the current position. Move downward the icon and it will automatically replace the keyframe. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Adjust the distance of the keyframes, and correct their timing. OK. The animation seems good. Now it's time to animate the letters. So go to the text composition. Pick the pen tool. Change the stroke color to a different one. I will set the stroke size as 20 pixels. Now create a stroke line covering each letter. I will rename the layer to S, so we can easily identify each layer. Do the same thing to all other letters. I will fast forward the video to save time. Make sure to create two separate stroke lines, for the letter A. I will name it as A1 and A2. Do the same thing with the letter R, as well. OK. Now open S shape layer, and add a trim path. Create two keyframes for the end value. 0, and 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. The animation looks good. Copy both keyframes, and paste them on the remaining shape layers. OK, let's fix the letter A, and R. So move the timeline to a position like this, and cut this layer from here. Move the keyframes, and fix the flow of the letter R. Then cut this layer from here. OK the animation seems good. Now move each shape layer to the top of each letter. I have wrongly labeled this layer, so this will be the stroke line of the letter L. Letter A has two stroke lines, so select both layers and pre-compose it. Do the same thing to the letter R as well. Again, select all the purple color layers, and change its track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation. OK. Again select both layer mask and the shape layer. Then pre-compose it as each letter. Let's give an upward motion to each letter. So get a new guideline, and mark the bottom of the text. Select all layers, and open position settings. Create two keyframes. One in the current position, and the other one in a below place like this. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. OK, the animations seem a little bit slow. Play with keyframes, and correct their timing. Move the timeline to a position like this, and open position settings. Create two keyframes. 0, and 100. Move all the keyframes to the beginning of the timeline. Play with the keyframes, and correct the flow of the animation. OK. Now it's good. Move each layer, 
two frames forward like this. Now we have almost finished the animation. Let's move to the previous composition again. Move the timeline to a position like this, and parent the text layer into the icon. Again move the composition a few frames forward, and correct the flow of the animation. Select both compositions, and parent to a null layer. Here, I'm using a plugin called Motion V2 to create the null object. If you do not have this plugin, simply create a new null layer, and parent both compositions to it manually. Press Y, and take the anchor point to the middle. Press S, and open scale settings. Create two keyframes. 85, and 65. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Check the final animation, and now we are done.